Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm happy to share with you my latest watercolor painting titled Costo Cham Sen Si and Shred. I would like to thank my YouTube channel supporter who requested me to paint a pitching and this is uh, my opportunity to show you today. The material I use uh, for this painting is the 300 GSM watercolor paper and I use the Daniel Smith pen with uh, some small brushes, mop and Chinese brushes. I wet the paper before applying some pens in the sky and I use a bit of tissue to lift up uh, the clouds on, on in the sky I put another um, watercolor to the buildings on the right hand side uh, as the bay wash and start painting the seas using um, ultramarine flow and horizon flow together mixing with a lot of water and I have to leave uh, some white area for the waves uh, with the uh, very white later. I use a horizon, horizontal blue uh, to pan um, the closer um, water areas. And I put a little bit dark value to the to the ocean and put uh, some dark uh, to highlight the shadow of the waves uh, like that so when the paper paper dry and I put the uh, remote uh, mountains I start painting the sand with uh, some yellow ochre in the sand um, with the water is darker than uh, the inside and uh, closer to uh, the shore. Now the base wash uh, for the sands are finished and I keep uh, highlighting the shadow of the wave uh, on the ocean. Make sure I spray a little bit water to soften the color on the, the ocean. I start painting the shadow on the sand and I use the uh, yellow um, to paint the color of uh, the trees on the right hand side. Before the paper dry, I put another layer of uh, shadows under uh, the trees. So I would like to uh, make a dark value uh, to the trees and uh, some rocks uh, underneath of the trees. I 
append some tree detail, the palm tree, and in the shadow of uh, the buildings on the right hand side. The roof of the buildings and now the, a little bit warm uh, using uh, red color. And now I put a layer of uh, dark value to highlight the uh, buildings, uh, the houses on the right. I just uh, put some persiana for the mock and the rocks uh, in the distance. I think I need another um, black uh, area to the sand. I use dark value uh, to paint the shadow of uh, the trees and uh, the rocks. I use a Chinese brush uh, to paint the shadow like that. I put some highlights uh, for the waves uh, and their shadows. Now it's easy to put the highlights because the paper tries uh, um, enough uh, to do another layer of uh, dry brush strokes. So now uh, dry brush uh, to highlight the uh, shadows. Some shadow to the water uh, closer. I put uh, here and there some people uh, on the the beach. Um, the area enjoys uh, swimming and playing together uh, under the sunlight. Now the dry brush uh, can be used to highlight the uh, shadow, some details uh, of the buildings on the right hand side and also I highlight some um, tree trunks, uh, rocks, um, details uh, to the um, um, foreground of the painting. I don't forget to put some um, people um, on the foreground and their shadow uh, on the on the sand, and also put some birds in the sky. I think the composition is good now uh, with the dark values uh, um, on the, in the foreground and um, the rows of uh, houses on the right hand side, uh, the wave and the ocean on the left hand side with a very light uh, value uh, of the wave. Um, and uh, the clouds is in uh, the sky with the birds and mountain. I think 
uh, is enough to tell the story. Now I use the white uh, color from the tube to highlight uh, here and there. And also I highlight uh, wave and water. water highlight to the wave uh, in the foreground I think uh, the painting uh, is done now and uh, just uh, some detail and highlights uh, to make the bending look uh, nicer and lovely. Now I peel the tap and the bending's done. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this demonstration. Thank you for your surprise. Uh, like and share this video and hope to see you in the next video